identified. So from a design perspective, what exactly is the theory of how one species would become another suddenly? Is it that there is a bunch of dead DNA that is suddenly oh. activated? Mm -hmm. Or is it that yeah, right. something injects new information into the system? How exactly would that work? What's well, the mechanism? The, the, the question of species raises this whole question of envelopes of variability. We see evidence of design at the, 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 the loci of the design are when you get the major innovations occurring in the history of life. But the information that is present in uh, a major group of organisms might be sufficient to allow a lot of variation within, a, within an envelope. So that's why there, there is evolution. We think there is there's clearly evolution that takes place. The question is how, how much information was present and how, uh, how wide the envelopes of variability are that are generated by that information. So there's a, a terrific evolutionary biologist and cell biologist, biologist at the University of Chicago, also named Shapiro, James Shapiro, who's got a new theory of evolution he calls um, uh, natural genetic engineering. And he notices that and has documented that, that many of the mutations that we actually see at work are not random at all. They're, they're um, an expression of what he calls pre-programmed adaptive capacity, where there's a, a, an external trigger or stress put on an organism, and that triggers the, pr the production of certain proteins that were, for which the organism had the capability of building all along because it had the genetic information there. And so a lot of the evolution we see is actually uh, pre-programmed adaptive capacity, which is really uh, an exciting biological phenomenon that the Darwinians haven't really taken full account of, but it does raise the question of the origin of that adaptive capacity, where the pre-programming come from. So intelligent design says the, the inputs of information from outside the system, from an intelligence, are located in that pre-programmed adaptive capacity, but it, the theory also acknowledges that the, there is evolution possible going downstream as a result of that pre-existing information.